I'm so glad to be here to demonstrate a uh, 3D printer. And uh, my name is Kim Ming Wan. Uh, Adam, yes, uh, know me. And uh, okay, be uh, before our demonstration, may I you want Maruf to read this paragraph for us? Yeah, please. Yeah, yeah. Three-dimensional training make have achieved to create human items. Have been to produce the new puzzles and thus undermine the economy of scale. It may have as profound an impact on the world as the coming of the factory day. Just as nobody could have predicted the impact of the steam engine in 1750, or the printing press in 1450 or the transistor in 1950. It is impossible to foresee the long-term impact of 3D printing. But the technology is coming and it is likely to disrupt every field we touch. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, right now, uh, I got to introduce you. There are three parts of my uh, presentation. The first part is, is about the uh, 3D printer. I'm gonna introduce the uh, every part of this 3D printer and how it works. And then the second part, uh, the, I, I did, uh, I made a research for, I sent 400 surveys to my customers and uh, I collect them and I made a research. I under, uh, gave the research to you guys. And uh, the third one, the last part of my presentation is uh, my business model. And I'd like to share my all my secrets with you guys, and uh, even my the cost the costing parts. Okay, so let's begin. Uh, what's the what's the 3D printer? It's a, this one is called Prusa i3. This one is made by Earth. Uh, this one is Maker Boat. It's the largest the most popular company right now. So they made like this. So I think it's ugly than hers, right? So, but this one is very stable, but they just print the small things, not like this one. This one can print like a higher than this one. This is the first generation. This one is the second generation. So from my view, so from our company. Uh, but it's kind of the similar thing with this one, yeah. And uh, there are three processes for the printing. Yeah, the first one you need a design a model, your CAD, some 3D design software. And uh, in the printing size, you need <coughs> cut them for each layer. You know, the machine will help you, the software will help you to cut them and then finish them. Now, this is the, the control software. Uh, actually, it, only this one we use. It's used wide, worldwide. Everyone uses this one, but different version. This is a Chinese version, but in America, they use English version. But the same thing, yeah. You use this software, you can control the, uh, the, the temperature, you can control the, the motor, you can control the nozzle. You can control everything with this software. It's, it's pretty helpful, this one. <coughs> and uh, so, earlier on, Nick asked me what we can print, right? Just the uh, material we have. Right now, the scientists, they can print organs, like kidney. They use something like made by cells, something like that. Yeah, they can print organs. That's true. That's Sounds amazing, sounds crazy, but it, it's true. And uh, can print the food, like chocolate, yeah. <laughs> and uh, each German, like uh, our friend, D knows, like uh, the ukulele, right? Yeah, I used to show you the ukulele, the green, the green one. Yeah, and uh, some furniture, some clothing, right now they print by Nello, yeah and uh, shoes, of course. Yeah, you're gonna print shoes. Yeah. And uh, some other things. So, this all print 
by this machine. This is uh, from my company. This is from our products. Yeah, open. This was just uh, some toys you know, for demonstration. Yeah. And uh, you can see the draw. This one. It's by printer. By by this one printing. And uh, the year. Oh no, th this one is not made by this one. The year and uh, all for the medical field. Yeah. So it's pretty useful. I usually like uh, have you guys try to install a fake this it's very expensive, right? But when people use this one, it'll be a lot cheaper than you buy from the, some uh, clinic, right? So, okay. Uh, this is a book top very colorful, right? This is for the light. Yeah, for the for home use. <coughs> and looks fancy. Okay. Uh, so the challenges facing 3D printing. I sure the in part in pro property rise of the 3D printer users because right now there is no rules for the for who can use the design and the de design just uh, they post on on the internet everyone can download yeah some of them the user pay money but almost they, they don't pay they just uh, download and the print things so uh, I think later on there will be a law or a limitation for control this part for, for protect the property. Otherwise, people won't innovate, right? So, okay. So, uh, I think like uh, the something related to criminal, like putting gun. Like, this is true. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to say I used to print one, but. This, this is, and you can use it just for like less than three bullets. Yeah, no, no very tough, but you can use it. May I ask a question? Yeah. For the gun, usually it is a combination of different pieces. Yeah. Together. Yeah. In yes. This one, they have to do the same thing, right? They have to make. Different pieces can assemble them. Yeah, you need make different pieces. But right now we, we just we, we couldn't print the whole thing. We couldn't uh, measure part of the, the gun. Yeah, like the 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 tube. No, just use the micro. Yeah. You're welcome. Good question. Thanks. Um, people curious about the, the ink. What's the ink? Uh, what's the material we can use to print? Uh, right now the most popular is the, the this thing. It's like this thing. Yeah. This is a plastic plastic material. It will be melting at 200 degrees. Yeah. So so for the nozzle we we heating to 200 degrees and uh, the, the, the material will melt it and uh, we can bring you know, like this. Okay. So, yeah, it's a uh, green technology. Right now, in, in, in this century, we, we focus on te green technology, right? So, everything should be clean, should be recycled. Yeah, so the plastic we use is could be recycled 100 percent. So after, like uh, that one, after we don't want to use that one, we just uh, melt it and uh, we can recycle, re reuse it. So it's pretty good, right? <coughs> okay. So this is not only a trend. Let me show you. Uh, sorry guys, this is a little bit small. 
you couldn't see it clearly, I'm going to introduce you. Uh, this is the trend. Uh, all of the popular things on, on this on this graph. And uh, you can see this is a 3D scanner is here. So mobile robbers is here. Uh, the big data, everyone knows, right? It's here. It's almost at top. But you can see the 3D printing is the obvious one. So uh, it's uh, a good trend right now. We, we should catch it. Yeah. And uh, <coughs> the glue computing uh, so which field we use as 3D printing like uh, the most of the part is motor vehicles we, we make some some parts, some frame and uh, for the motor vehicles and uh, the consumer products business machines and some even the military like uh, the US aircraft the, the, the most uh, high, highest technology one, they use uh, print. They use a metal print frame for the aircraft. Okay, now <coughs> I'm gonna show you guys uh, our survey, our research is according to 400 surveys from our consumer, from our website. Okay, so you can you can see the uh, only like a four percent female user use 3D printing right now. So yeah, maybe I think later on this trend could be changed. But right now it is. It's almost all of guys use this one. <laughs> the age is from twenty to. 40 is the majority users because uh, from 20 to 90, some of them are ho hobbyists. Yeah, they have time. They want to use this one, right? They're young. But from 30 to 40, they have money. And uh, they're still very interesting in this industry. So they could buy it, they could use it. So this part too young. And this part, I think, it's kind of too uh, difficult for them to accept a new thing, a uh, new industry. Okay. So for the income parts, like uh, uh, from from ten thousand to eighty thousand is the majority income can buy. They sh they won't buy a lot. So let's see the. Level of interest in 3D printing. Okay, uh, about the average, this part is the uh, average, it's uh, like a, uh, just you done the most. In <coughs> okay, skip this part. So, okay, so this is uh, the six different kinds of 3D printers. The first one is a dual actuator 3D printer. The second one is this one. It's the most popular one. People, most of people thought about this one. The only single actuator, single nozzle. Yeah. But later on, I think the, the others could be more popular than this one. Because this, this the others are multifunctional. So, but right now it's too expensive. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the majority potential buyer they want to use like five hundred to ten ten thousand hundred. Yeah. This is a acceptable price for them. Yeah. Right now this one is uh, like around seven hundred. So it's in this period. Yeah. And. Uh, yeah, only like a seven percent want to buy like two thousand to thirty thousand. Okay, uh, we can see the this graph. Yeah, so the future three D printer. Uh, 
for our time, and I don't explain this issue around here. Okay, now, the different use. The only 1% in the kitchen, yeah, the 10% in the garage, and uh, usually they use in the office, the home office. But I use in garage, because this one like uh, makes some noisy. Yeah, even it's, it's very, yeah, it's a uh, small noisy, but you could hear it, yeah. And uh, this too. So what you're gonna print? So for your object, people always print the mostly different prototypes and uh, parts of the machinery, like all these things. People like print these things for the replacement. And even some office items, and uh, use some case for the phone or uh, print uh, shoes. Yeah. So this is about the market. How can you buy a 3D printer? Where can you buy a 3D printer? Almost they, they bought from online, like uh, some private stores or uh, Amazon. Yeah, Amazon has a huge, like monkey, huge store for the 3D printing things, keys. Okay, this, now this I got I just introduced to you that this is the control software. Yeah. Okay, you see this one? This one is uh, the plate. Yeah, this is the frame. So what I can print is inside this plate. I couldn't print outside this plate. Before the, the printing, I, I want to introduce a little bit. You can see the, the, this one, this, this is a small screen. We, it's, it's also a control board. We, we can use this one and without a laptop. We just uh, monitor the printing, side, printing process with this screen. We control the temperature, control everything here. And uh, you put you put design in a SD card. You put SD card here. This is a uh, yeah. You can put SD card inside. And uh, without the laptop, you still can print. The, this this is a system inside this machine. It can cast the model for you and uh, be automatically printing. Yeah. So it's called second generation. The first generation. No, no this part, no analyzing, no heating bar. You need to use some glue on the bar and then make it stable. But right now you don't need everything is made already made for you. So it's easy to use and then easy to adjustment. Okay, right now I already connect the machine and the printer. So we can print right now. So I think uh Later on, if it works, everyone can come here and uh, yeah, if you want, just uh, see how it works. Okay, yeah, it looks nice. You should use a uh, exp yeah. ex expensive yeah. material like the carbon fiber. Yeah. Okay. Uh, right now, I'm gonna introduce to you guys uh, our kingdom. It's called 3D Deep Pot. 
you guys, all you guys know Home Depot, right? Mm -hmm. So there is a new company it's called 3D Depot. Yeah. This, uh, the structure of this company, the, uh, yeah, there are three different angels. Uh, the first one is it's called Eric. is our engineer. Okay. Uh, the Trader Hope is my company. My company is uh, take takes takes thirty percent of the the new company. So and uh, and uh, there will also some have some personal investment. Uh, <coughs> this is our construction. This is our structure of my company. Okay. So these three parts. Uh, it's our main job. Uh, the first part is we serve services, service for the for assembling, for maintenance, right, for, for the teaching how to use this machine, and uh, for repairing this machine, and something like that. And uh, we also we also design and uh, make sure the design works. If you have some design you want to print, you send to us, uh, we're gonna make, make sure it will work. And then we're gonna make a little bit of adjustment and make some support for the design. So it will work. So we will also charge that. <laughs> yeah, so that service. Usually it's fifty dollars an hour. But if you live far away from here, I drive there it costs them more than fifty. So uh, the retail work, we show the, all the keys of this machine and uh, the ink material, like uh, for PLA, like uh, ABS. And we also show the nozzles and uh, the motors. Everything, yeah, everything related to the 3D printer, well, we, we, both, we sell. So, uh, our store location is in Pasadena. So, uh, why is in Pasadena? The two main reasons. The first one is because uh, the design school in Pasadena. Everyone knows it's very famous school. And the second one is uh, the traffic there is very good and uh, it's close to downtown. Because Pasadena is also a cultural city had hundred years. So a lot of artists they live around Pasadena. So they are my potential custom consumers. So I choose a uh, location in Pasadena. Okay. Uh, for innovations, right now we are building a industrial machine. It's a bigger one. It's kind of like a not not like this big, but it's uh, only smaller than this this table. We we bought the 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 motor from Japan, and we bought uh, this part, this the belt, and the, this part the trail from Germany, because they made the the best one. So we want to make sure our product be perfect use. So we, we bought them outside. We didn't buy them from the yeah, Asia. So is there any guarantee? Yeah, yeah. They do guarantee from their, uh, yeah. And then we still finish product. Oh, yeah. It's going to be... Yeah, of course. We do. Without guarantee, no consumers. For how long? Uh, for two years. Yeah, it depends on different. If you just buy a nozzle for some, like, uh, consuming parts, it won't... I, we won't guarantee it like for how long, but if you buy the final things, we guarantee two years. We can the service, free service for two years. Who designed these machines? This machine designed by uh, the topiest Chinese university called Tsinghua University. Yeah, I think uh, some of you know that university. It's the top one in China. So, yeah. Thank you for this. Okay, uh, now marketing. Uh, marketing cars is uh, what is my job. And uh, yeah, 
I'm in charge of the marketing parts. Uh, usually we do the online promotion, online marketing. You know, like, I mean, uh, like YouTube, Google, Twitter, Facebook, everything like that. Why we use Meetup? Because uh, all the hobbies, they are on Meetup. Yeah, we, we, we hold a, a meeting like every month, at the end of the month, and we, we have a workshop. We're teaching them, and we communicate. Yeah. <coughs> and uh, uh, we, we do have a resource, it's a Southwest Student Union. This, this, this is a, actually this is a Chinese Student Union here. It's a village, a lot of universities here, like USC, UCLA, UC, UC Systems, and uh, our school, and the PCC. Everything goes in this union, so uh, I'm a I'm a member of this union. So I contribute my machine. I like uh, when they have some shows, they have some like a uh, uh, like a festival shows. I am one of the show with this machine. Yeah. So it gonna be a promotion. And uh, for schools. Uh, I have an idea is like that we we send this machine as a for free to the middle school or high school and the college, but they set they send a contract visitors to one year use the material for from Earth. Yeah. And uh, publicity. Because I I used to I used to be on the on the newspaper. Yeah. It's part of the promotion and uh, we gotta invite a journalist to give us an interview. No not me. Uh, it's uh, our engineer. Yeah he gonna be in the interview and uh, we're gonna post the interview on Facebook on Facebook, YouTube, something like that. And uh, we, we also have our professional 3D website. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. That's pretty much all of my presentation. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Uh, right now, it's uh, I'm open for you guys to ask you any questions if you want. Yeah. Thank you. I think it's uh, very good. Uh, uh, thanks for Eddie for the. Thank you, Eddie. Yeah, and for the pictures and the okay, evidence for the presentations. Okay, very good. Thank you so much and very good uh, informative uh, presentation. It's the very first time some of the folks, uh, our students here to uh, realize that such a product is going to help us in your, our future life. Okay. All right. How about the, I think it, it's good. Let's, let's have a picture. Let's have a group picture since we have uh, okay. Eddie help us. Let's sure. have a picture with him. Come here, guys. <laughs> <laughs>